The Eastern Rail Line, which runs from Port Harcourt, the capital of River State in the South South region, terminates in Medugre, the capital of Brono State, in the Northeast region of Nigeria. It was built between 1913 and 1916 by Nigeria's colonial government of Britain. Nigeria's president, Muhammadu Buhari, who came to power in 2015, impact on ambitious railway projects in some parts of the country. The railway projects were part of plans to diversify the nation's alien economy away from crude oil. The Nigerian government built and commissioned four standard gauge railway projects between 2016 and 2021. They are the Etawari Rail Line, Abuja Kaduna Rail Line, Lagos Ibadan Rail Line, and Abuja Metro Line. After about eight years of inactivity, President Buhari in 2020 flagged up the construction of Eastern Railway Line project at the cost of 1.9 billion US dollars. The contract was awarded to a foreign firm, China Civil Engineering and Construction Company. The 1,443-kilometer rail line project will link 14 states, including the five southeastern states of Abia, Enugu, Ebony, Imo, and Anambra. Three months ago, the Nigerian government halted the construction of the Eastern Line project, owing to insecurity and vandalism of railway infrastructure. Engineer Miles Osambo, Minister of State for Transport, made this known why inspecting the rail project in Port Harcourt, the river state capital. According to the minister, the workers of the construction company handling the project complained of attack along the Apia State axis. Chief James Odacha, a chartered accountant and Chini Dumadele, a media consultant, said halting the project as a result of insecurity does not hold water because there is relative peace in the southeast region. The stoppage of work on the eastern rail line, not only stoppage of work, but you can see if you've taken a trip on, on the rail line recently, you've seen that the whole uh, uh, apparatus have been uh, dismantled. Total dismantling of the uh, rail line uh, infrastructure we have in the east, from we have here, from the station about down to uh, Portacot, dismantled. And it's a clear demonstration of marginal marginalization of the eastern states by the federal government. Now, the federal government, as we know, is building rail line to Maradi in the uh, Niger Republic. They built rail line up to Maradi in Niger Republic, outside Nigeria. But Nigeria, eastern states, which is part of Nigeria, nobody is considering eastern states worthy of rail. Now that the petroleum prices have gone up, commuters would have found it an alternative route of traveling from Abba to Port Harcourt and uh, between Abba, from Abba to Port Harcourt and uh, all the towns within Obibo, uh, Obehe and all the stations on that rail track. We can't. Passengers, uh, even tra traders, would also utilize it for movement of goods and services. We, we, we have been deprived of that. Talking about insecurity, other places where they have, uh, where they have these uh, rail lines, what about insecurity there? If you're talking about insecurity at the part of the south, at, at the southeast here, it's we have a relative peace here. There is no insecurity. It's just an excuse to ex exhibit their hatred on the Igbos, to exhibit their hatred on the Southeasterners. That's exactly what I see. So there is no need talking about insecurity. We don't have insecurity here. That is where, okay, even in his own hometown, where they are, as we speak today, they are, they are citing about 500, uh, 500 million Naira uh, medical, uh, uh, federal medical center in Daura. While we already have one in Katsina, and that is to tell you, in, and about 14 states in Nigeria don't have that yet, and yet you have two in that particular state.
An investigation by Top Accolade News reveals that the Chinese construction firm commenced a project by dismantling the railway slippers and tracks from Port Harcourt, the river state capital. The old railway infrastructure were stacked at different locations along the corridor. They include Aba, Omaya, Elelewan, Port Harcourt, Ovim in Isukwato local government area, among others. This is contrary to media reports that the dismantled tracks have been taken to an unknown destination. A visit to Omaha, the Apia state capital, reveals that the former rail line has been taken over by traders, while the station we used to be bubbling with activities looks deserted. This is also the same situation at Aba train station. An area within the Omaha station is now occupied by dealers in poetry. I know that uh, various uh, contracts are awarded under the con uh, Chinese uh, agreement with Nigeria. The Northern uh, uh, Terminal has been completed and commissioned. And but in this case, now the, what the actually minister said is that uh, he said the level of uh, vandalization of uh, the train lines and then the attack on uh, the Chinese uh, uh, workers, extractors working on that place, is a great concern. Came as a, so the next action was to sub suspend it. But my worry is uh, another thing is how, is, how, when, what is the terminal point or level? When are we expected the project to be delivered? I mean that of coming from the uh, south south corridor to south uh, east corridor. So when is it expected to be completed? So if the project is to be completed two before the termination of this uh, administration by May 29, then it means it's supposed to be a concern because it will not affect. You know, when you now you accept, you have to extend it. Like here in Oma here, our where I reside, where you can see that uh, I have visited to that uh, the place, I have been taking a kind of uh, investigation, and I think that the level of work going there, they have removed all the all the rails and the uh, slippers, all the things they have removed from the from the tracks. So leaving that place now, going with bush to go there, and if you take a walk, you see that the place has been taken over by bush. So if the work you are supposed to be going on, I think they have they would have done more than where they are now. This is part of uh, marginalization because. The the one the I saw on television last two days from Kaduna to Abuja is very fine. So at least this do also do that also in southeast. It's part of what our brothers is saying, and I'm surprised that the governors in southeast and south south said that they did not know. He, when they came and removed the uh, railway properties. So it's not good. It's part of it. It's part of what we agitate him for. There are fears that the project will not be completed on time as work has been stored on the Portacot Medigree Eastern Railway Corridor, thereby cutting off the entire southeast from rail transport. I remember, even when the old uh, rail, when we still operating on the whole rail, it eased off a lot of uh, tensions and uh, poverty. There is not every person that can afford up to a thousand five from Padakot to here, but within that time, uh, with 500 naira, you can enter a rail from Padakot to about here and so on. Now, it's going to worsen the economy, both in the, a business, in the, both of that of the business class, and even this small petty trading. A lot of people, after buying their goods in Abadi, they come back here to pick their this thing down there. But for, for what they have done now, it is foreclosed. It's not going to happen again. I went to order for my goods from Lagos this time around, this period. What I used to pay before is 400k, 400,000 for a goods to come into Southeast. But now it's 1.3 million. So it's really affecting Southeast. That's the reason why Southeast are crying. They are really crying. So it's a page of the rail. Assuming the rail is working. I will order the goods through railway. Instead of paying somebody individual 1.3 million, then I will pay rail. Maybe, let me say, if it's 200k or 400, then the money will not enter inside the government post. But before you know it, there will be a good work, jobs, creation, even the southeast will open up. But because of the bad road, like now, if I want to travel now, I will rethink how, how, how long am I going to take before I go back. Since the airline is costlier now, there's no good road from southeast to other parts of the country. So, but if you have something like rail, it will be easier for southeast. Well, the cost of doing business will be higher because we have not been given an alternative uh, uh, means of uh, 
a way out to the high cost of uh, uh, fueling and uh, road transport fares. And besides, the roads are bad. The, the, roads are, the roads we have here, from about to Parakot, is so bad. Trailers falling every day, uh, passengers getting injured every day, goods uh, being destroyed, falling on the road and being destroyed. So the cost of doing business here is very high, very, very high. And we have not been given an alternative. Despite the attacks on passenger trains by bandits, rail transport remains one of the cheapest and safest means of transportation. The effect of the complete absence of this means of transport will be huge on the economy of the southeast region of Nigeria. Chimezie Ozems, Top Accolade News.